Hi guys, this is gsndon.com and I'm here with the AllView P8 Energy Pro, the Romanian locally integrated version of the Johnny Marathon M5 Plus. It's a 6 inch battery phone. We're very familiar with the P8 Energy series because we've already reviewed the AllView P8 Energy and P8 Energy Mini and this is the Pro model. It debuted in December 2015 and it comes priced at $403. So first things first, let's talk about the design. The handset, in spite of being massive, measures 8.4 millimeters in thickness, which is not bad for a battery phone, and also a six incher. It weighs 209.8 grams, also not bad, considering the P8 Energy was actually heavier at 212 grams. It comes with a metal frame that's pretty sturdy and wide, and also seems to have a plastic back although we are promised a metal body here well the back is made of plastic what's for sure is that the top side and the bottom side of the back are made of plastic we get 2.5 d glass at the front and this six incher comes with um, sturdy metal frame as i said before and it has a nicer design compared to the p8 energy that felt rather bulky reminds me of the p8 energy mini that was a bit sexier the grip is quite good for a mega tablet and surprisingly it's comfy and also elegant at the same time all the buttons offer great feedback i mean those on the side and this one here and uh, well what else can i say it feels like a gamers gamers phone because it's very nice to snuggle and keep like this in your hands when you're playing a game. Now, as far as the display is concerned, this one is a 6-incher with on-cell technology, Full HD resolution and an AMOLED panel. The protection is ensured by Gorilla Glass 3 and once again it's a 2.5D panel. The videos can be watched with this player called Video and let's check out one of them. Okay, so the options of the player include DTS sound and a pop-up play-like feature here and the conclusions are that we have very vivid colors, borderline to oversaturation, good brightness, also nice contrast, wide viewing angles and the pretty deep blacks as usual for an AMOLED panel. The pixels are of the Pental Matrix variety and as usual we have them checked out under the microscope, here we go. Pental matrix variety as I said and we also measured the brightness and achieved 535 lux units which means uh, it's a great result and we surpassed the uh, all view p8 that had 471 lux as well as the p8 and g mini which is 274 lux with this very same value we managed to beat even the Huawei P9 and the Huawei Nexus 6P and I also have to mention that there is a 60 lux difference between the top side of the screen and the bottom half of the screen so that's not exactly very encouraging because it's not a uniform brightness it's still high but not exactly as uniform as we'd like it 535 at the top getting closer to the bottom 465 now as far as the screen settings are concerned we go to the display section and we got adaptive brightness, economical backlight, font size, sleep, LCD effect which include options like neutral, there's also warm color and cool color and we only have one sample to test them with, here we go, it's a good idea to keep it on neutral though. And then we have skylight and cast screens, so overall good display, nice brightness but not exactly uniform although there's not a visible difference luckily. As far as the hardware is concerned. The AllView P8 Energy Pro or the Johnny Marathon M5 Plus brings forth an octa-core processor of the MediaTek MT6753 variety clocked at 1.3 GHz and it uses Cortex-A53 cores and we also have the Mali T720 GPU and 3 GB of RAM are available as well plus 64 GB of storage which is quite nice to have. Then we have the microSD card slot which offered up to 128GB extra, there was no lag here and the interface is fluid and even when opening, app, when opening up a new app there were no problems whatsoever. Of course the games run and look ok on this big screen and on this pretty well spec device. So no lag, fluid UI and nice gaming including games like the new Angry Birds Action and Riptide GP2 which is shown here. And let's have a go with it. Looks pretty nice. The water is nicely rendered. All the textures are okay. 
speed sensation checks out no stutter no frame drop and no lag so the gaming is quite fine okay we're going to exit the app so i'm also going to talk about the benchmarks just a little bit not a huge amount for example in antutu 6 we scored 38,000 points we were about on par let's say with the galaxy s5 or close to it and then in the same test we surpassed the samsung galaxy a3 and the samsung galaxy a7 2016 in antutu while in quadrant let's see how we did in quadrant here we go 22,000 points and uh, we were at about the same level as the HTC One A9 and the Galaxy S5. In Geekbench 3, we had a pretty good multi-core test score, 2911, and this means we're at the HTC One M8 level. The 3D scores in 3D Mark sadly were kind of on the low side, so this is not exactly a future-proof phone if you want gaming, let's say, in one year and a half from now. We also tested the temperature. And after 15 minutes of gaming, we achieved 35.3 degrees Celsius, which means there is no overheating. And after the very intensive GFX bench test, we scored 33.5 degrees Celsius, so no overheating here either. So, good performance, not exactly future-proof. And now it's time to talk about the acoustics. So, as usual, we've seen lately a lot of phones with DTS sound. This is also the case here, confirmed by this DTS sound. This is the speaker and we have two options of players play music or something that's simply called music very straightforward interface feels a bit like miui and has quite a few options in the equalizer segment you can choose one of the headphone options we have the genre settings and five custom channels to play with now let's actually listen to a tune and decide how the speaker can handle the heat As you just noticed, there is a bit of muffling, but generally the speaker was quite loud and clear. Uh, the guitar sound was well heard, there is no distortion, it needs a pinch more bass. And now let's see how the decibel meter qualified this speaker. So gallery, and here we go. Decibels at the back, 83, and at the front less because of the muffling, 80.7 decibels. This is just an okay result, we scored below the P8 Energy Mini, which scores 83.6 decibels. So with the better result, with 83 decibels, we scored above the Allview P8 that only scored 82.6 decibels. Now as far as the headphones are concerned, here they are. If you've seen an Audio phone before or a Johnny handset before, they're exactly the same as usual, typical buds, comfy in the ear, good isolation, loud but I've heard louder, they need a bit more bass, they have a wire that tends to tangle and this pretty straightforward remote with a singular button. So now if we connect them here, you'll see a bunch of new options opening up in the music player and we can also gain access to the FM radio which is right here. Okay, so that's all we had to say about the acoustics. Time to put the headphones away and talk about the camera. So, if we go to the back, there's a 13 megapixel shooter here with a big LED flash, face detection autofocus, f2.0 aperture, 5 lenses and a sapphire protection. We can do up to full HD video with this camera. The front camera is a 5 megapixel shooter and now let's see exactly how fast the camera app can open up and start up pretty fast I have to say and not very fast is the focus as you can see not exactly very fast at least the zoom is quite fluid and goes up to 4x quite fast the exposure is kind of violent when it changes makes the image either too bright or too dark and the picture taking well I'd say it's average sometimes it's good when the lighting conditions are proper but in low light conditions 
exactly when you think you're done with the picture, you have to wait a bit more till it's actually finished. The UI is typical for an all view handset. We got the options here like anti-banding, there's the resolution, there are the capture modes, flash options, and finally the main capture modes. Smart scan, smart scene, mood photo, which lets you write something like sort of a Polaroid super photo, which is a 65 megapixel shot achieved to interpolation, GIF, face beauty, HDR, pick note, professional, filter, night, normal, take any time and panorama. And if you want to talk about professional, it includes extra settings like exposure, ISO, white balance, shutter and focus. Shutter goes from the um, 1 30th part of a second to 14 seconds, so quite a few options here. Okay, other than that, when it comes to the video capture, those are the options you play with. We got white balance, anti-shake, you can film up to full HD. Time for the gallery, folks. We've talked about the options enough, and as usual, we have an impressive amount of shots, 145 of them. And um, things to notice here, we start off with indoor cocktails. It took a, a while for me to focus them properly, so it doesn't focus exactly perfectly. Slight blurriness here, and I thought I was going to get some very nice gourmet shots, but sadly the image was a bit, but only a bit blurred, especially if you start zooming in, you see that it's actually a bit blurred. And then we went outside, took a few shots, also used HDR, which made the image a bit too white, and then it was time for some selfies which are also a bit too white for my taste especially the background feels a bit washed out but the skin texture and hair texture are let's say okay not more than that so the panorama is rather modest in resolution 6832 over 1840 pixels it has some strange exposure right here in the center i will keep saying that the exposure is kind of off in some of these shots by the way very nice focus here for a close-up of this little thingy and very nice focus play because in the same situation we focused on the background with pretty good results okay some landscape shots and if you zoom in you'll see that the image is not exactly very clear just look at those trees they seem a mass of leaves you cannot see the separate leaves here a zoom test with let's say pretty good results the details are pretty well kept even when zooming in okay and then a peacock was caught on camera here with I have to say pretty good colors and uh, nice texture and nice details here speaking of colors i'm reminded of the excellent hues caught by the allview p8 energy and this p8 energy pro handles the colors just as good Aside from the strange exposure every once in a while, not a lot of big objections. We also have flowers that we caught on camera. Quite nicely, I have to say. Realistic colors, good details, and nice focusing are important things to remember here. Of course, there's the occasional burnt shot or strange exposure, but it's not very serious. Now, as far as connectivity is concerned, we're getting here 4G LT of the FDD and TDD kind. And this means we're also getting up to 150 mega per second downloads. This one is a dual SIM handset and uh, it comes with the micro SIM slots as well as an USB Type-C port right here at the bottom. Uh, there is a Bluetooth 4.0 in the mix and Wi-Fi BGN only in the 5 GHz band. There's no Wi-Fi A or AC or the 2.4 GHz band support. We have Wi-Fi direct and also uh, via the USB OTG cable you can also charge other devices and that's bundled now as far as the actual phone calls are concerned they're loud and clear we have a good microphone here and very nice sound isolation the options of the dialer include blacklist and speed dial to name just two of them time to discuss the battery and starting off with the capacity this is a 5020 milliampere hour lithium polymer unit bundled here on paper should provide two days of heavy use or three days of light use we get a charger with a capacity of 9 volt and 2 amperes and we're also supposed to get up to 450 hours of standby functioning and once again this phone also works as a power bank juicing up other devices now when we tested the hd video playback in a loop we achieved 16 hours and 41 minutes, which is great. This is the fourth placed phone in our top 10 and it scored below the P8 Energy, Asus Zenfone Max and Lumia 1520. So fourth placed, not bad considering the company it's in. 
in PC Mark, 11 hours and 21 minutes, also the 4th place and also great result, scored below the Asus Zenfone Max again, as well as the P8 Energy and the all P6 Energy, and uh, it's still below the P8 Energy, so some may feel more tempted by that model, and I mean the Johnny Marathon M5, considering it surpasses this one by a few hours. Anyway, this one also offers the extra screen and a brilliant screen it is. The charging is done in an excellent time considering the size of the screen, the size of the battery, 1 hour and 53 minutes, absolutely great. And meanwhile, the P8 Energy or the Johnny Marathon M5 charge in 3 hours and 10 minutes and the P8 Energy Mini 2 hours and 58 minutes, so this one is a champ in the charging area. We also have special features related to the battery, we can find them here, we got power management with standby intelligent power saving and then the actual power saving modes, there is normal, there is power saving mode and extreme power saving mode that uses this black and white user interface and only access to the basic features. This one allows you to use a dark theme and closes up some of the uh, energy eating items like bluetooth, like vibrations and things like that. And here we have other power saving options, smart power saving at night and smart memory cleanup. That's all in a nutshell, an excellent battery, but it does not surpass the quality of the Johnny Marathon M5, aka the P8 Energy in the localized version. Time to talk about the software here. So we're dealing with Android 5.1 Lollipop with some customization, but overall it's pretty much the stock experience. Now in the lock screen, there's an interesting aspect that all of you included so they have these uh, extra things, extra screens in the lock screen that show you things to discover. So if you press here, you'll discover extra info about all these products, like their phones, their visual VR headset and more things like that. A nice touch and a nice way to promote products with inspirational quotes among other. Okay, moving forward in the home screen, if you keep it pressed, You'll trigger the apps, widgets and effects area. The effects go like this. Typical. The widgets are good looking and 3D, but most of them are the stock ones. With some offered by all view. Multitasking is offered via carousel. With an option to close everything and free up the RAM. And then if you swipe down, you can see the notifications. If you swipe up, you can see the quick settings, options like connectivity, location, rotate screen, brightness slider, super screenshots normal screenshots, long screenshots or part screenshots and of course these four shortcuts to functions like torch, fake call, calculator and finally camera. Time to access the security area, see what you can find here and uh, I mean the settings area first, then security. Okay, so in security you can set up a guest mode, a password and then we get to the fingerprint scanner available right here. So it's secured by a password and you can authentify like this. The setup process of the fingerprint is quite slow and quite long, but the actual unlock of the screen is done pretty fast. So let's have a go. Okay, one more attempt, this time on 90 degrees. And finally 180 degrees. As you can see, works like a charm and no problem here whatsoever. Other features, well, there's also screen pinning here and we also have smart gestures. It can be found here. Here they are, we got smart dial, we got smart answer, black screen gestures, you can draw patterns and double click to wake the classical option. We got a suspend button option with this floating widget, which is already available on other models as well. And finally, LED light among these same settings. An interesting aspect to mention, the gallery app on this phone also has a special trash section so it keeps the photos you delete for a period of time. Now as far as the apps are concerned, we counted them, there are 46 apps pre-installed here so yes there is a bit of bloater going on. Things to remember here, Bitdefender Mobile Security, it's useful, Chameleon which takes colors from the environment using the camera and creates a new wallpaper, there is a child mode app allowing you access to only certain apps with parental restrictions for the time they're being used and the way they're being used. Then we got Facebook, we got Gmail, we got the full Google Suite and uh, then we have the System Manager, probably the most useful app available here, cleaning up your resources including cache and memory and things like that. Okay, that's it in a nutshell. People know this phone as the Allview P8 Energy Pro or the Johnny Marathon M5 Plus. Time for the verdict. Okay, so I have to say that on the pro side, it's a comfy phone, even though it's very big, 
it's good looking, it has a bright display, it has no lag, pretty ok performance and multimedia, takes some good pictures and uh, especially when it comes to colors and clarity, it has a very very good flash at the back, good microphone, great battery and um, the battery charge was surprisingly good for such a phone. The power bank feature is also welcome. Now on the con side, obviously, the brightness that is not uniform on all the screen and then there are the exposure problems when filming and when taking shots, poor low light video capture, bloatware and it should have had marshmallow by now. So that's it, things to remember are that this is a big phone, a tablet and still, two aspects here are unusual, it's pretty slim and it charges fast even though it's a battery phone. It can also be used as a power bank and it's ideal for a gamer because it's very nice to hold in the hands, offers a solid feel, as you can see the perfect ratio for gamers is achieved like this. And aside from the solid feel, obviously the great battery should be able to get around 11 hours of continuous usage, that's great, good multimedia, ok camera, ok performance, my only regrets are maybe the filming and the lack of marshmallow. In the end, a great battery phone, but you may also want to consider the AllView P8 or Johnny Marathon M5 as an option. This is it from gsn.com, bye bye.